Joel C. Rosenberg reminds us of the power of prayer. Let's watch and listen to real-life miracles we have witnessed in recent years as a direct result of your effective, fervent prayers. We're not for worse. We don't want it to get worse. We're supposed to be praying for peace and, and, and being peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, Jesus said. But we have to understand that he's going to allow things to get worse over time. But he is a sovereign. And we've seen two huge answers to prayer this year. Many in the epicenter. But I want to focus, I want to mention two big answers to prayer tonight. For one, Gilad Shalit came home this year. Shalit is the Israeli soldier, amen. He's the Israeli soldier that was kidnapped by Hamas in Gaza on June 25th, 2006. But God heard the prayers of his people. He showed mercy to Gilad and his family. And Gilad was released on October 18th, 2011, after 1,940 days in Hamas captivity. But he's out tonight, and, I want to, and he's been out for several months, and we need to thank the Lord. It's almost been a year now, and thank the Lord for that answer to prayer, because I know many of you and many of you around the world were praying for his safety and his release. But there's another person who was released, and that happened just a few days ago. Pastor Youssef Nad uh, Nadharkani was also released from an Iranian prison. Nadharkani is, is an Iranian Muslim convert to Christianity. He's one of about a million plus Shia Muslims who said, yeah, you know, I'm out of Islam. I'm done with Islam. It's not right. It's not true. I'm going with Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And he's the only way to get to the Father. And Pastor Yusuf said yes to Jesus. But not only did he say yes to Jesus, he became a pastor so he could teach, so he could preach, so he could, he could win people to Christ, Muslims to Christ in Iran. And so, of course, they arrested him. And they charged him with apostasy. But you know what? God heard the prayers of his people. And God showed mercy to Pastor Yusuf and his family. And Yusuf was acquitted just a few days ago on the, on the apostasy charges. Now, he was found guilty of sharing the gospel with Muslims. And uh, he was sentenced to three years in prison, but he was released having basically essentially served his term already. Now again, many of you prayed for these two, and often it seemed like this was impossible. But see, that's the God that we serve. He's the God of the impossible. And we should never think, amen. It's okay, you can clap. Amen. Do not get cynical. Do not think that just because bad things are happening that Christ isn't on the throne, that he isn't sovereign, that he isn't a prayer-hearing, prayer-answering God. Subscribe to our videos by clicking the subscribe button. You'll find some videos that we've chosen specifically for you. And if this is a ministry that you'd like to support financially, just make a tax-deductible donation by clicking here to visit our giving page. Thank you. We look forward to partnering with you to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus.